Hi there, welcome to Language in 3 Minutes, I'm Dr. P.K. And today we're going to be going over the ACT English test and how you can do well. Now remember, in today's video we're going to be focusing on commas, semicolons, and basic sentence structures. What we're going to do is actually go over some specific questions and look at the rules that are required to understanding those particular questions. Now there are some key strategies that you can do so that you can go through and answer each question and do well on them. Okay, one of my students was asking me and he's really grinding it out trying to do well in the ACT English and one of the things we talked about is if you think about the ACT English with the 75 questions it's like you're being tested on a whole basketball game so this is a basketball player and over the course of a whole game there's so many different skills that that you that you're being put through the test on it's hard at some point in time you have to dribble fast sometimes you have to run fast sometimes you have to jump sometimes you have to defend sometimes you have to like communicate and there's so many things you're having to do all at once or all in different moments and very quickly but what if you just simply isolated down the individual skills that are required so maybe you're struggling with commas and semicolons well, what if that was just a specific skill that we can just drill and skill on? Okay, let's do a quick mini lesson before we transition into looking at some ACT questions specifically. So let's start out with a sentence. Taylor Swift sings. Taylor Swift is a subject. Sings is the predicate. And taken all together, the words form a full sentence. Sometimes you can refer to them as an independent clause. Um, in a different context, they'll be also referred to as a main clause. The next thing we want to look at is the use of a conjunction, which is like a glue word, right? So conjunctions are used to join words or even groups of words. In this case, Taylor Swift sings and dances, and is our conjunction. You can also use a conjunction to combine sentences. So you have a sentence here that says, Taylor Swift sings songs comma, and she dances along. Thus, we have the rule that you should be aware of when working on the ACT, and also along when you're doing your own writing. If you are joining two sentences, two complete sentences, with an and, you also need to use a comma. This is typically known as using a comma fanboys, as you see in this second sentence here. Okay, regardless of whether you are doing this for your own writing or whether you are doing it for the ACT, you'll need to keep in mind two rules. First, everything before the comma and fanboy needs to be a complete sentence, and everything after the comma and the fanboy has to be a complete sentence. Secondly, everything before the semicolon and everything after the semicolon should be complete sentences. And a third caveat really is that the two sentences using the semicolon should be pretty related. Never ever use a semicolon with a fanboy. That would be incorrect. Lastly, the other thing you should keep in mind is that you should never separate two sentences with simply a comma. That's called a comma splice. So you should at the very least have a comma and a fanboy or a semicolon and then even in rare cases actually a colon. That's the thing with the two dots like on your clock. All right, now let's try it. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put up some questions and I'm gonna be quiet, which is hard for me. I'm gonna be quiet and you're gonna go over these questions and see if you can come up with the answers in the 36 second time frame.
If you liked our video, please be sure to subscribe, share us out with your friends so that they can also do well. And the thing is, the ACT English is one component of your understanding of English. I mean, really, if you can take some of these rules and apply them to your writing, you'd be much better off because you'd be practicing them regularly and not just for an ACT English test. This has been Language in 10 Minutes or Language in 3 Minutes. I'm Dr. PK and your world has been lit.